my dear warriors finally that news has come yes and it's a breaking news because the official update by cbse regarding your final dates of class 10th and class 12th board examinations couple of days back they had released the tentative dates to warn us in advance which was a very good move i really appreciate it and now the actual dates have been announced so let's have a look at it so that we can see what is in store for us how much gap is there and how should we really be preparing so if you are new to the channel please subscribe because this is the number one j english channel not only do we give you je content but also the cbse content for your preparation already playlists are there and if you are already subscribed don't forget to like this video okay this is your captain shreyas your physics master teacher so let's begin as you can see right over here the official notice is out okay how you can uh, see this very simple go to the official cbse website cbse.gov.in click on the main website click on this you will see this page will open up okay something like this go down you can see latest at cbse click on the first link date sheet for 10th and 12th exam this was released today 30th of october just couple of minutes back okay now this pdf will open let's have a look at it i know you guys are tensed don't worry don't be nervous i will explain it to you there is nothing to be afraid of okay it's just normal date sheet all right so they are addressing all the schools and everything regarding the uh, uh, article and uh, they have mentioned that you know they had already informed when the examination will start the tentative dates were already declared in the previous article so they are just mentioning that now there are particular things which they have taken into consideration let's have a look at it these three four points are important all schools have submitted their loc cbse has now the final data of all the combinations because remember couple of days back cbse had asked to verify everything and now that they have who stu uh, which student is giving which examination they know the combination so scheduling the exams making the timetable is now easier for them that is why they had asked it now uh, around 110 days prior only they had told when the examination will start which is a good heads up for us which is a good move a sufficient gap has been given between two subjects generally offered by a student in both classes this is a good move and that's what they usually do the date of conduct of the examination of class 12th have been considered taken into consideration and efforts have been made to complete the examinations much before entrance exam this will help the students for better time management for board and entrance this is for all the je and neat students neat the exam is anyways in may but specially for je students your first attempt and second attempt will be in jan and april so they have kept a sufficient gap because couple of years back there were some date clashes the exam was neck to neck so students found it very difficult so now they have kept su sufficient gap that's what they claim we'll see that during evaluation teachers will not stay away from the school simultaneously and for a long period that means all the teachers are chilling out will not happen sorry i feel sometimes sorry for all the teachers date sheet has been prepared by avoiding more than 40000 subject combinations to ensure no two subject examinations offered by student will fall on the same date so your examination will never clash no matter what and the time of the start of the examination will be 10:30 am keep that in mind your exam will start at 10:30 but you will have to reach the center at least the first day 2 3 hours in advance so that you get familiarized and you know you get accustomed once you are accustomed on the first day next day onwards you can reach 1 and 1/2 hour before or something like that depending on how far you stay now uh okay students will be able to start the exam preparation well in advance families of the students and teachers will be able to plan their visits during summer vacations teachers will wow they are caring for us they are planning our summer vacation thank you thank you bro okay teachers will not be away from the school for a long time hence the st studies of non board classes will not be hampered school will be able to plan well for board classes school fixed as a examination center will have sufficient time to plan and to ensure this is very important j students to ensure that j mains and cbse examination do not coincide nta will require registration number of student of class uh, 11 to be filled in j mains application accordingly all schools are requested to provide this is very critical a very new notice accordingly all schools are required to provide the registration number of class 11 to the students for applying for j mains this is a very important breaking news for all the cbse students appearing for j mains please read this again and again because you do not have your class 12th mark sheet when you are applying 
for the J mains. The forms will be released very soon. It's expected anywhere between now or next 5-10 days it will be released. Then you have to provide the registration number of your class 11 and you should request your school to get that registration number. Understood? Is this clear? Give me a thumbs up, smash the like button right now. A very big move taken by CBSE and NTA for J mains. Very, very important. The date sheets can be accessed by the official website. Okay, the copy has been sent to following people. Okay, this is not important. Let's have a look at the dates. Okay, is this CBSC? Okay, secondary school this is. This is for class 10th. Let's go down. 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 And let's go to, yes, senior secondary. Okay, there we go. We have biotech, uh, I think on 17th. Great physical education, 18th. We have engineering graphics. I don't see anything. Oh, physics is the first paper. Friday, 20th, 10.30 a.m. Mark your date. Your opening wicket is physics, guys. Yes, 10.30 to 1.30. You're starting off with physics. That will give us good time for physics. Unless you have, obviously, physical education, which is on 18th February. So, if you have PE, physical education, you will get two days from that time to physics. Okay, most of the students will have taken physical education, I am guessing. Okay, let's go ahead. So, then after 20th, 26th February, geography, some schools offer geography. So, for those students, you have that. Chemistry on 28th of February. So, good eight days for chemistry preparation. Wow, I love this timetable at least till now. I'm loving it, guys. Are you loving it? If you are loving it, smash the like button. Eight days for chemistry. You have physics is first. So you have ample amount of time for physics. And then, 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 then. Have you, please tell me if I missed something, okay? The major subjects, especially. Okay, these are all uh, languages. Mathematics, 9th of March. Wow. So many days. Eight, nine days for mathematics. Eight to nine days for mathematics. Isn't it amazing, guys? So cool. I'm loving it. Your PCM is done by 9th of March. Major tension is gone. Where is our English? Where is our English? English. English. 12th March. So we have three days from 9 to 12. I think it is good enough for English. Three days are more than enough. So by 12th of March, you're almost done. But there is one big ghost who is still remaining. remaining. Who is that? Computer science. Yes, you heard it right. But for majority of you, tension will be over. Okay, from 12th of March. Till first week of April, you are getting some time, 28 days for J main second attempt preparation. Okay, let's see. Hindi is there if somebody is taking it. Political science and everything. Biology, oh my God, PCMB kids. Sorry, boss. 27th of March. 27th of March, you're going to have the examination. So if you're a neat aspirant, then, you know, you're going to get one month and few days for your preparation after the board examination. Else, if you are a J aspirant and you are taken, if you are a very heroic, you are an ultra pro max person, then biology is going to be a spoiled sport over here. Okay, IT is there, computer science is there on 25th of March. You can see for most of you, the exam will be over by 25th of March. For PCMB, 27th of March. After this, most of them would not have taken these subjects. But in case you have taken any of these, then these are the dates. It is going on almost till 9th of April, but I don't think anybody would be giving these examinations. So, overall, a great timetable. All the smart ones would be free by 12th of March, computer science exception, but you can easily prepare for it in the two days, but you will definitely start for the second attempt preparation by 12th of March itself, and just before computer science, you will prepare for that subject. PCMB, sorry boss, biology is there on 27th of March, so you need to prepare for biology because you are barely getting two days after computer science if you have it. Okay, other than that, good seven to eight days gap is there. English, three days gap. Physics is the first opening wicket. So guys, we'll plan accordingly. All right. So I hope you loved this timetable and make sure that you are subscribing to the channel and stay tuned, stay updated. And by the way, we are conducting five days, five topics each of physics, chemistry, maths, which will make you a pro, which will make you a sigma. I just announced it some time back, how to be a sigma from a noob. All right. So it's a five day challenge. We are taking up starting tomorrow, one hour each classes. Make sure you are marking your attendance and staying tuned on the Vedantu J English channel. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you for liking.